Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallon. Now, Mr Speaker, I seek the leave of the House for question number four to be set down for question after question number 10 today, uh, so the Prime Minister can answer it when he returns from his urgent public oh, business. Leave is sought for that course of action. Is there any objection? There is objection. Uh, the the Honourable... Oh, order, 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 order. I think I, I can anticipate the member's uh, point of order. The Honourable Trevor Mallard will leave the House. We will not tolerate that kind of uh, uh, accusation in the House. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Uh, speaker, on behalf of uh, Annette King, my question is to the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, does he stand by his reported statement that he agrees the future of some children are at risk, but it is a balancing act? The <laughs> Honourable the Honourable Paula Bennett on behalf of the on behalf Prime of Minister. The Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes. Supplementary question, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Question, Mr Speaker. Order, I was waiting I for the Prime the Honourable... Minister to answer the question that he should have Order, answered. order, order, order. I'm on my feet and this nonsense will stop immediately. And we won't have any more of this. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition may ask his supplementary question. Mr Speaker, has he failed that balancing act when New Zealand's teenage uh, unemployment rate has trebled under his watch and when the Human Rights Commission reports that having 58,000 young people not in education, not in employment and not in training threatens New Zealand's social cohesion? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, no. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. With the unemployment rate amongst 15 to 19-year-olds increasing from less than 10 per cent when he, the Prime Minister, took office, to nearly 28 per cent, why has he cut funding for industry school training by $145 million this year. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, he hasn't, but what we have done is insisted that there be quality and that actually recycling young people through into substandard education and training opportunities is not doing anything for them, something that the opposition were quite happy to see, but this side is not. We will insist that training is meaningful and opens them up to opportunities. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker. Why is he denying that he has cut, or his government has cut, $145 million from industry school training this year when he acknowledged that fact last week in the House? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, what, on behalf of the Prime Minister, what we are insisting on is quality. So the other side were interested in the quantity and whether or not the young people were sitting on seats and maybe being there. Point we are... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, I think you'll recognise that I asked why he is denying that he's cut $145 million this year now when he acknowledged that fact in answer to a question last week. Uh, the, the Minister has not attempted to answer that part of the question. The Honourable, uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett, the, 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 the question repeated by the Honourable Leader of the Opposition is what he asked. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think that the member needs to look at how he's asked those questions both times and see that they actually justify different answers. Oh, order. Order. As Speaker, I've accepted that the repeated question was, uh, it seemed to me, to be reasonably accurate representation of the first question. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. Sorry, I was referring to his question last week, not the, not the two questions today. Oh, I beg your pardon. I beg, I, I beg your pardon. I understand the answer. The, that is a perfectly acceptable answer. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, how does the cut of 31,000 industry skilled training positions and having 1,000 fewer young people in modern apprenticeships reduce young people being at risk of unemployment and disengaging from the community. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, um, I go back to the original, as, as I was explaining, is that actually what we need to look at is the quality of the training that these young people are seeing. What we have seen repeatedly is young people recycled through because the incentives have been wrong. We will demand more from those organisations and more for these young people and make no apologies for it. The Honourable Leader of the Mr. Opposition. Mr Speaker, 
Does he count his youth unemployment policies a failure when Statistics New Zealand records the nearly 28 per cent unemployment rate for 15 to 19 year olds is the highest since the Great Depression? If not, why not? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Because, Mr Speaker, when you look at it in bigger terms, you see that actually for 15 to 24-year-olds, that number has gone from March 11, 18.8 per cent now to 17.4. That in January 2010, we saw that there were more than 23,000 on the unemployment benefit. There are now just over 16,000. Actually, the investment into things like job ops has made a difference, with more than 90 per cent staying in those jobs and actually not going back on a benefit. And that, Mr Speaker, as a success. The Honourable Speaker, Leader of the Opposition. Is the Prime Minister therefore saying that Statistics New Zealand has got it wrong in saying that the highest, that the level, the rate of unemployment in 15 to 19 year olds is the highest since the Great Depression? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, no, Mr Speaker, but what we are saying is there are a number of factors. We are putting the investment in young people where it's needed. 43,000 new jobs created in the last year. Um, there's a lot further to go, but we will get them education and, and, and the right sort of training so they can take up those jobs as they come on. The Honourable okay. Leader of the Opposition. Does he accept that his unemployment uh, policies for young people have failed? when the New Zealand Institute reports that youth unemployment rates in New Zealand are the highest of any developed country. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, there is room for celebration in some of this. For example, Māori youth unemployment rates have gone from 30.3% in June 2010 to now 24.8%. That's still too high. It's still too high, but we are tracking down. There is a long way to go, but 43,000 new jobs last year, 15,000 of them for young people, is a good start. We will continue to celebrate and recognise the contribution those young people can make. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Is it really a cause for celebration that the youth unemployment rate for 15 to 19 year olds is the highest since the Great Depression and the highest of any developed country? If so, how is that a cause for celebration? Uh, Mr the Speaker, Honourable that Paul is Amendment. not what I said, but what I will say is this government is doing something about it. We are putting the investment where it should be. We are recognising that those 16 and 17... Order. Order. I mean... <laughs> Luckily I didn't hear that bit, because, uh, but the member must interject while I'm on my feet. And so we won't have any more of that. But a question was asked and an answer was being given that was not, it was a perfectly reasonable answer being given and the level of interjection made it impossible for, if, if a question is serious, members should want to hear the answer. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, what we have is 16 and 17 year olds that were leaving school and no one even knew who they were or where they were. So, Mr Speaker, we had 16... Order. I, just, I want both front benches, please, to cease this carry-on uh, that we've had today. It's unhelpful. And I've already dealt with one member and I don't want to be dealing with any more. Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett to finish that answer. So, Mr Speaker, we had 16 and 17-year-olds that are leaving school that no one can track. So in all the years under the Labor government, nothing was done about them. So we saw them leaving school, unable to be tracked, unable to know where they were, unable to actually make contact with them. We are doing something about it.